I just know that you are here because you've been trying that wheat chicken recipe with little success or no success at all. Though I'll show you how to make vegan chicken at the end of this video, but right now my main focus is to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to extract gluten from flour at home before you even make any wheat meat so that you'll never fail again. By the way, if it's your first time here, my name is Chef TJ. I'm a vegan chef who tries to post three times a week. You can also connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. You know, the problem with viral TikTok videos, they make it seem so easy. And in fact, it is easy. But let's be honest, there's not much you can learn with a 15 second video. And that is why this is a straight up 11 minutes tutorial, no kidding. And listen, my friend, you need to buckle your seatbelt, right? Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna work with 1,350 of all-purpose flour. Our water is going to be exactly one liter. Don't forget to always clean your surface before you start working. Uh, look, you don't really have to use a surface. You can use a bowl, you can use a machine for that matter. Uh, but I just prefer to work on a surface. <laughs> I have this strange, I know you'll find it strange, I have this strange relationship with flour where I have to work on an open space uh, because it gives me pleasure and I always like to touch it. I got to touch it, I got to feel it. <laughs> okay, so though you can extract gluten from many types of flour, in this video, we're gonna be extracting from all purpose flour because that's what I use every time. And please note that if you are extracting from a different type of flour, the measurements will be different. We're not finished kneading the dough yet. We just need about 25 grams of flour that is going to help us to avoid the dough from sticking to the surface or on our hands. Okay, so <laughs> here is the funny part. Yeah, I know not all of us might find this funny. Uh, but look, as I always say, I found this therapeutic. It is an exercise for me. It helps me think. I kind of meditate. It just helps me. And that's what I prefer. And that's why I said earlier on, I have a strange relationship uh, with flour. I'm just on cloud number nine when I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so here is the right way of kneading the door. You stretch, 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 stretch. And then you fold and fold and fold and then repeat the process. Can you see why I'm saying this thing is therapeutic? Because the dough is soft, you're seeing it coming together in front of your eyes. Or did you just enjoy this? <laughs> okay, so one of the most important things to know here is that you are kneading the dough for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Though sometimes I go even for an hour depending on what is stressing me, what I'm thinking about. And the reason for that is because you're actually activating the gluten. That's what you're doing, activating the gluten to make it easy when you are washing the dough. So in other words, the more you need the dough, the better it becomes when you are washing the dough. I just hit you an African beat. <laughs> Please rate me out of 10 on the comment section down below. 2,230 is the final weight of the dough. And here is another very interesting part of the video. Have you ever asked yourself, why do you have to cover the dough with water? <laughs> and here, please do not worry. I'm just measuring the weight again. I just wanna see if there's any difference after the dough has been covered with water and there isn't at all. Okay, so here's an interesting part. Look at it this way. Look at it as if this door has been hit by a car and the paramedics took about an hour to arrive. Now here it is. It is dehydrated. It is tired. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, before I finish with this analogy, I just want to show you how you wash this thing. This is how you wash it. Like an African queen <laughs> this is how you wash it so basically what you're doing you are taking the dough resting it on your palm then gently stretch it forth backwards 
fourth, backwards, fourth, backwards. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so back to the analogy. The door is in hospital. It is tired. It is dehydrated. So what you need is to make sure that it rests and you put it on a trip so that it can be hydrated again. So that's the whole purpose of putting the door under the water so it can rest enough and can be dehydrated. You need that to make sure that when you wash the door, it becomes so super easy, you know, for your gluten to come together. That's what you need. And it also helps with the texture. Okay, I'm sure now you get the picture, you understand. Look at this water here. So what I always suggest is that the first wash, don't throw away the water. Uh, I'll show you in a bit what I use with this touch for. There is numerous, numerous uh, things you can do with this touch. I'll show you in a bit. But that's what I advise. Wash your door thoroughly within this water without changing it. Uh, okay, it takes me about five, six, seven minutes somewhere there. Then you can transfer the starch to a clean bowl. As I said, there is a lot you can do with starch. I mean, you can ferment it for making cheese. You can make bread with it. Uh, <laughs> look at this bread. Look at that. Um, <laughs> I mean, there is a lot. I mean, you can make bacon you can make um cheese you know uh you can there is just a lot guys and by the way i will leave the link to all those recipes on the description in case you want to check them out uh so as you can see look that th this is still that first wash i have not done anything still the so you are actually left there is the gluten there is your gluten so we're just gonna call that the first long wash and then now we are going to the second and in pressing it actually helps to keep it together to help it come together but as you can see don't worry about that it looks funny now it looks like some halloween costume or something <laughs> okay so uh, now we are washing it for the second time um but it's already coming together at this point we don't have to worry about anything by the way guys this homemade vital weight gluten might seem as if it's new but i promise you it has been around for thousands and thousands of years it originated in places like asia it is a meat alternative for plant-based eaters or should we say vegans also known as wheat meat Okay, so as you can see, we've washed it for the second time now. Uh, so what will happen is that you will see that the water will clear and clear as you wash it more. Um, if you still remember the first one, it, the water was very, very, it was like milk. Now it becomes a bit, uh, it's still, you know, the, that white is still there, but it's going to a cloud um, kind of color now, right? Okay, so let's wash it for the third time now. So this is the third time. You will see now the water is cloudy. There you go. The water is cloudy. Let's see. There you go. That's where you want to stop. And uh, as you can see, it, now it's just one thing. It is one solid thing. You are done. You are done. And I mean, you don't want the water to be like here, here. Because that little starch that is still left in the dough, you need it because it helps with the texture and the denseness of whatever wheat meat you want to make. Actually, I feel that there is still more starch than I need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash it again. Just one more time. One more time. Very quickly, I'm just going to wash it again. Yeah, let me just throw away this water. Yeah, I'm just gonna run the tap and that's it. Yeah, let me just run the tap and then we're done. That's it. Okay, so as you might know, you don't get much gluten from all purpose flour, but look, we got about 600 grams from 1,350. Not bad at all. 
Okay, here's another very important part. You need your gluten to rest. It has to rest. Can you see how rough it is before resting? And here it has rested. So there's still a bit of water as you can see. It will release more water. And then now it is more flexible. You know, you can really stretch it. You can do anything with it now. And look at my water here, the starch water. So what I normally do, here's the thing. What I normally do, if ever I feel that there's a need for more starch, I can always take and inject in my gluten. You can freeze the gluten up to six months, though I freeze mine over a year. Can someone show us how to use a skipping rope? <laughs> okay, so from here, you can make any type of meat that you want using this gluten. It is all about flavoring. But again, you can use any type of cooking. I mean, you can simmer it in a broth or some kind of stock. You can pop it in the oven. You can shallow fry it, deep fry it. There is just plenty. But here, guys, you just have to make sure that you tighten it. The tighter it is, the better your texture will be. You made it this far, meaning that you are enjoying what you are seeing. Though I'm briefly showing you how to make vegan chicken, but the video right here on the screen now will show you a detailed step by step. You will enjoy it. So rather let us meet there and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, guys, look at, look at that texture.